Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Summer Swaps is absolutely massive and Shapeshifters Team 2 is not half bad. I want to take a look at all the content released yesterday on Friday and take a look at what could be happening this weekend with the brand new Shapeshifters cards. A couple of them being extinct on the market. A lot of price movements, especially as I take a look at them right now. They are down a lot from where they were a few hours ago specifically one of the most exciting and hyped up cards that was released yesterday mr marcello going from six million coins seven million coins being extinct right away i believe now he is down closer to four mil with all the late night lightning rounds and supply that we have had so i'll take a look at these prices and of course take a look at the massive summer swaps program that we had the first two tokens released out of 50 in the game yesterday and it's probably the biggest piece of content that people are excited about because the packs are absolutely massive and we don't have to wait that long to get them so i'll talk about all of that and what to expect today on saturday and especially with the market and fodder because fodder had some really crazy movements yesterday with the 93 plus tots sbc being re-released or tots slash shapeshifter and then of course more lightning rounds in the past few hours has had fodder on like a roller coaster type movement. So we're gonna take a look at all of that and more in today's video. If you're excited for summer swaps and shapeshifters too, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by talking about summer swaps because that's arguably the biggest piece of content from yesterday. 50 tokens, yes, the leaks were correct in every aspect. 50 tokens are going to be released and this is summer swaps number one. So that means there's probably going to be a number two program that in my opinion would be coming out late july and take us until like end of august so that's just kind of you know very forward thinking but this summer swaps number one tokens are live now they basically have to drop two tokens per day right because it's basically 30 days 31 days they have until july 25th to drop all of these tokens and if we get if we're getting 50 tokens that's like one and two thirds or basically just under two tokens per day on average that they have to release and they have to be pretty consistent with it if that's the case now the best thing about this is we don't have to wait until the end of july to start redeeming in these rewards in two weeks july 8th on that friday we will be able to redeem rewards starting then, which is very, very nice because especially, you know, it's the end game. If we're grinding all these tokens for two to three weeks before actually being able to turn any of them in, that would be an L, right? And that'd be very disappointing. So it's nice that we're going to be able to redeem those rewards pretty soon. Now, a lot of you guys probably have looked at these rewards. There's so many options. Seriously, there are so many options for what could be the best. It just depends on how big of a grind you want to put in, how many of the uh, swap tokens are through objectives, how many games it requires, and all that stuff. The Kempembe cards that are in here, the right back and the center defensive mid, both really, really good cards for player options. The icons, they're kind of whatever. There's some really good player picks in here though, and that's what I want to talk about. I think for me, the best value is one two three five 15 and 23 if you want to use all of the tokens possible that would take you like all the way up to 48 tokens i believe or 49 tokens out of 50 personally what i think i'm going to end up doing is the either the 93 plus or the 95 plus and then all of the fodder packs and that will allow me to not have to grind every single one of the swaps tokens if i don't want to and I'll probably try to take some of these fodder packs earlier on, um, depending on how good the content is, like on July 8th when we're able to redeem this stuff. That's a nice thing, right? You, you're going to be able to, on July 8th when these tokens come out, depending on how many tokens you have, you're going to be able to say, okay, I've got X amount of tokens right now. And I can say, I want to grind for these certain packs and then, or these certain rewards. Then through the rest, the second and third week after that, you're going to be able to kind of just decide how much you want to grind. Get the stuff you want to get done first, and then whatever is after that, you can kind of go ahead and do. So I know a lot of people really want to go for the 96 plus efix tots. I think that is a very, very good player pick. It's going to be very, very OP. But I also think that the quality here, that we just or the quantity, excuse me, there's so much so many packs you can get for 30 tokens you can get all of the the uh fodder packs and the 95 plus efigs right that would take you to 28 tokens and this one is 30 and you get one player pick but then for a 95 plus you get one player pick and five times 20 or times 25 packs four of them not five still i think 
that's a really, really good value with some of these player picks that are in here. So I know a lot of you guys have different objectives. The Kempembe cards are really, really good as well. Um, regardless of, you know, what cards you have in your team, you know, a, a ten, uh, the 10 swap token Kempembe is a really good card. The 27 swap token Kempembe is great too. So the rewards in here are insane. That's the bottom line. We like it. Whatever rewards you're going to take, you know, it's probably going to be fine. I would maybe shy away from taking the moments player picks just because icon moments at this stage of the game are so behind the power curve of where tots cards and especially now these shapeshifters are at. So that's kind of where I'm thinking with those. But the shapeshifter player picks, the efix tots player picks are pretty good value. Uh, and I think there's a lot to grind for in here. And I hope, I really hope that EA does not just make all of the tokens available through objectives they're starting off day one with a free token and the one they gave out via sbc but we have not seen one of the objective cards that was leaked to be dropped yesterday though thomas delaney did not get a shapeshifter item the only objective we had yesterday was the emerson position change which is a w but we were expecting two objective cards so i don't know if today we're going to get delaney or tomorrow on sunday but i would expect in the next two days they would drop that card and probably with it they would drop another swap token via objective. That would make sense based off of what they have done in the past couple of weeks and through the last couple of swaps programs. So that's kind of the whole summer swaps thing. Again, I think it's a big W because the the packs are just crazy, right? The rewards are insane and they're just rewards that we want to grind for. Now, let's take a look at some of these cards that are in packs at the moment. We have two, yes, two extinct cards on the market. That would be Cristiano Ronaldo and Sergio Ramos, the team of players that was released yesterday. I'm very happy with this team. So, of course, we know off the leaks that Adama Traore was one of the biggest names not released yesterday. He's going to be in the mini release. And if I actually take a quick look um, at the leaks from yesterday, let's see. Who are we missing from this team? We are missing Adama Traore. We are missing Emre Chan and Thiago Mendes. So those three cards are going to be our mini release on Sunday. Adama, I'm really excited for because I hope that card's going to be freaking sick. But the team they released yesterday, really, really good. Ramos extinct at 1.5 mil. I think he is actually worth more than 1.5 million coins with the way these shapeshifter cards, the hype that they have, the stat boost that he got, PSG links. I think he's worth that much, if not more. Ronaldo is extinct at 8.5. I'm struggling with this one. He is no longer extinct on Xbox. I think what you might see today is Ronaldo actually get listed on the market, maybe a little bit of panic selling this morning on Sunday, and then probably going to be on the market less than eight and a half million coins by later tonight, because I know that it's a 99 rated and a 99 pace Ronaldo. He did get a nice pace boost uh, over his team of the season and team of the year, getting him to 99, which was very needed. But I think the position change and just the fact that it's 8 million coins like that, that's pretty crazy in my opinion. I think it's overpriced. He did not get the five-star weak foot. If he did have the five-star weak foot, then we'd maybe say, okay, maybe then there's a reason why he's that expensive. But for the rest of the team, of course, Marcelo is really cracked as well. The work rates are the only bad thing about this Marcelo. High, low work rates instead of high, high on the left back. But of course, they're trying to make this card a striker, right? That's the whole point. So they adjusted his work rates, which does make sense. Um, that card's a W, really nice card. I can't wait to try him out actually as a striker or like a center attacking mid. He'll be really fun to use. You could still probably drop him into the midfield um, with that card there. For the rest of the team, there's a lot of great budget options. I used Tecatito Jesus Corona yesterday. This card is phenomenal. So good. His shooting is actually cracked. I put a, I think I put a Hawk chemistry style on him. Yes. I was using him as a striker, put him as a, uh, um, in game three, five, two. He doesn't feel that like incredible. If I'm being completely honest, he feels really good. He does have the average body type, which probably doesn't hurt him. Uh, it probably does hurt him a little bit. Still a really, really sick card. Good links, five star, five star, incredible shooting aspect of the card. El Sharawi is another great card that was dropped yesterday with all the serial links, the five star skills, the four star weak foot being a central card, a lot of hype with this El Shah at the moment on the game. Uh, actually, you know, this was kind of crazy. This Roberto Pereira card at 135,000 coins with the five star skills got such a big boost that the entire, uh, everybody using Teo Hernandez yesterday panic sold him. They panicked, so this tail tail went from 700k down to 588. He did bounce back, but now he's low again, just because people saw 
how insane that Pareto was and how cheap he is. Uh, Silas, really great card from yesterday as well. He's pretty cheap. Timo Werner, I think, is a little bit overvalued at the moment. Very, very rare card, but right forward position change. He, of course, has got that four-star, five-star, so a plus one on each of the weak foot and the skill moves. And the first Chelsea card that we have had in a couple months. So that's nice to see. Overall, I think this team is cool. I really do. I think this Arnautovic is the most interesting card out of the whole team. Now, take a look at this. He went from a 81 rated striker from his base card to a 92 rated center back. They gave him plus 49 defense, minus 10, or sorry, plus 10 pace, uh, minus 11 shooting. But here's the interesting thing. He, he maintained the same traits that his striker card has. So he's got a flare set play specialist and long shot taker uh, traits on his shapeshifter card. Uh, but how often do you see a striker position change to center back and then get a different card in the game? The same thing with the Marcelo and the, the Ramos. I think this is just flat out cool. I mean, I know some of you guys are like, Nate, this is so unrealistic. This sucks, whatever. But just like the fact that Arnautovic is a four-star, four-star center back with medium-high work rates, like that's just crazy. I want to try this guy in a Serie A team just to see what it's like and just to have fun with the card. Just like I also want to try Ramos and Marcelo at striker because it's it's fun. It's different. I know it's not really like realistic, but the fun aspect here with some of these cards is a blast. And I'm absolutely all for it. So those are our cards and packs. A lot of big W's there. You know, our SBC content from yesterday, Rafael Guerrero, really nice. I love this player pick, especially if you're running a Bundesliga team. Both of these are really great items. He's only like 175,000 coins to complete. In my opinion, I think the right back card's a little bit better just because, you know, you've got DaCosta, who's really good, uh, but you have so many other great midfielders in this game. I think that right back card fills a void that needed to be filled with a very up-to-date right back from the Bundesliga. So if you're a Bundesliga squad um, you know, user, that's a really, really great SPC, really, really solid card. But other than that, yesterday we did have the 93 plus tots again, and that was where most of the hype was with content in the SPC section. Um, and it actually made fodder move a lot. Fodder went up a lot yesterday after that SPC was re-released. And it was kind of as we expected, right? We talked about in last night's video, fodder actually might go up with people going and doing that SPC. That's exactly what happened. 84s spiked for a couple hours after content, and then they have absolutely died because of all the supply, the late night lightning rounds, and all that good stuff that has happened in the past few hours. Now, some of those cards could actually start going back up as early as today on Saturday. And if I were you guys, I would probably not risk it too much longer with that 93 plus player pick being out and also not knowing what kind of content we could get today. I really think that some of these, you know, 85s, 86s, since they have dropped off so much, you know, they're back down to pretty low prices, not like stupid low, but just pretty low, right? You know, 84 is at three and a half K is pretty solid. 85 at 7,000 coins isn't dirt cheap, but it's pretty solid. I mean, these guys went to 12K last week. If we have any sort of content like we did last week, these guys going to 10K is absolutely reasonable for 85s. 86 is going back to like probably 15K is very reasonable. I think I like 84s, 85s for the best ROI at the moment. Your top tier cards, uh, 90 rated are still about 38,000 coins, so they're not down that much. You know, just keep a close eye on some of this stuff as well. But fodder, it, you know, some of the higher tier maybe goes a little bit lower today. We'll just have to see what ends up happening. Uh, but also, I could see some of your fodder kicking back up today with, of course, having that 93 plus tots pack still available in the game for people that didn't do it yesterday. So that's just kind of something to watch out for. If the cards continue to stay low today on Saturday, that's just going to that's gonna make a, a great potential investment uh, for any of you guys that are wanting to get into some fodder this weekend, which is probably smart at least to do a club stock. I'm going to try to do a club stock just about every single week because I know that um, there's going to be great content every single week and I want to be able to have cards in the club to be able to get that SPC content done. That's the kind of the, the way that I'm going to be looking at it at this stage of the game um, for getting SPC content done. I'm probably going to do a club stock just about every single week 
and then go from there. So, you know, watching some of these shapeshifter cards, like I'm talking about today's content on Saturday, uh, some of these cards could rebound a little bit in the morning. Timo Werner was under uh, a million coins. He's back up a little bit. All of these cards reached low points. El Shirawi was, I believe, like, uh, I think he was under 400,000 coins for a hot minute. And now he's back over like 419, 420,000 coins. So he's back up. Jesus Corona uh, was down at like 270. And he is now back up at 300K. So, you know, we have had some rises in price in the past couple of hours. I think that some of them could rise a bit more this morning as people go out and they try them out um, in their squads. Corona, El Shirawi were some of the biggest movers yesterday. Even Marcelo dropping off as much as he has. He's a very, very, very rare card and a lot of people want to try him out. So, you know, a guy like Marcelo today you could wake up and see him at 4.5 million coins. It's very possible. So just be careful with these though, because I also believe that they're going to drop later on in the day tonight on Saturday with more late night lightning rounds. I don't know if they're running any at the moment, but they did run like the 84 plus trio about an hour or so ago when I was, before I was here recording, uh, 85 plus star duo. What's the percentage? 10 percent all right we'll rip a couple of these really quick I'm, I'm starting to open uh packs of coins just for the fun of it we are getting a walkout we're getting busquets okay nice but um you know 10 percent is the highest pack weight that i've seen for these cards just packed a bomb yang nice um the pack weight yesterday was really really bad as well and that's why a lot of the shapeshifters started off very expensive um and this is just end of the year dgen opening packs of coins because why not Getting walkouts. Um, that's boost gets a no, it's not. It's Rodri. Nice. So I'm gonna end there because that's not very good. But you know, it's the pack weight just not very good. We need good upgrade packs to come out on Monday if we're gonna feel like we have any shot at packing anything related to shapeshifter cards this week in this game. So that's gonna be a big key to this upcoming week is the upgrade pack content. 82 plus player picks, please. EA Sports. We need that very, very badly. Now, also, I didn't mention objectives, but I feel like I need to because we had two really good ones yesterday. Emerson, only five games. Five games and a foot-friendly shifting shape, which is, I believe, Max Chem, uh, which is a W. I think it's Max Chem. It might not be. But uh, that's a very, very nice objective to get done for a very nice card. I'm going to be absolutely doing that one. And then also Shapeshifters Cup, which is golden goal. And we love the golden goal. We love it, EA Sports. Now, the packs aren't actually that great. I think they're just decent. But golden goal, 21 matches. It's pretty easy to do. You do get some solid packs, which should give you uh, you know, a little bit of fodder throughout this next week. So I think that that's a small W for a, a small grind each day. Play a couple games, win a few, work your way up get a few packs. That's a W. Now, like I mentioned for today on Saturday, we could finally have that Thomas Delaney, uh, Delaney SBC, sorry, not SBC objective. We were supposed to get him. We thought yesterday, but we didn't end up seeing him. Uh, so we'll have to see if that drops today or if it drops tomorrow on Sunday, the other SBC, and this is an SBC, not an objective. I didn't misspeak here, but Fernandinho, this is the only SBC that we have leaked right now. So unless uh, something is leaked earlier today on Saturday, this would be our expected content for today on the game. It would be a Fernandinho center defensive mid end of an era. These are predicted stats, not confirmed, by the way, predicted, not confirmed. Hopefully he gets 90 pace, but that could be moving the market a little bit on the um, center defensive mid, maybe the your really high tier, mid tier defensive midfielders guys like jude bellingham could take a hit in price today if that sbc is very very good value because there's so many links here and it's you know manchester city fernandinho so that's one thing to really really keep an eye out on today is if this fernandinho drops it's probably going to be a pretty quiet day also more tokens more lightning rounds like we normally see on saturdays watch for the fluctuations with the shape shifter cards as well you will see them moving on the market today 100 percent uh last thing i'll say is some of the out of packs market was moving yesterday dibala was all the way down at 1.57 which i picked up two of those and sold them close to about 1.7 mil some of your out of pack stuff was dropping a lot yesterday some of your shapeshifters from team one actually had some drops in price they rebounded very very nice though jack Grealish was actually 380k um in like the first hour after content yesterday and then he exploded to like 450 
Where is he right now? He's 427. So really nice rise on some of these shapeshifter cards from Team 1. Atal was down at like 270. He's now back up at 300,000 coins, I believe, for Atal. 310. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, Kalulu had a 30k fluctuation. Aubameyang, Hazard was panic sold. He bounced back. So, you know, some of your shapeshifters from Team 1 actually did uh, get panic sold yesterday and then bounced back a little bit. But really, it's not a huge, crazy piece of content to drop on the game. Like, grinding after tokens, since that's the biggest part of the game right now, is not that hard of a task, to be completely honest. So I feel like this weekend, people are just going to play Weekend League Tomorrow and Sunday, maybe we'll get some sort of new icon player pick. That could be pretty hype, which I haven't even done my moments player pick from last week, which is a bit fraudulent. I can't lie. Maybe I'll have to do that with some of the fodder that I'm getting. Um, but we'll have a new one of these coming tomorrow on Sunday. So we'll have to see what that's about. And uh, hopefully EA have something else to surprise us with, man. You know, more end of an eras, more shapeshifter player SPCs. The shapeshifters, I mean, they're putting out some pretty good cards. So if they would continue with that sort of content we would be pretty happy. So that's kind of a Saturday roundup video for you guys on the channel. Good luck with your weekend leagues if you're out grinding. And uh, I'm going to take the day off streaming today to rest this voice a little bit because as you can tell, and probably as you've been listening to the whole video, you're like, Nate, your voice is going, and it is. So have a good weekend, lads. Good luck with your weekend league. Maybe touch some grass too because it is June. But if you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.